everyone in this video lesson we will go through two things first um, we will enable geo replication for azure sql database to increase availability for the database and second um, we will go through um, auto failover configuration on azure sql server so for that first um, i have connected to the azure portal and then you see that the database that I am going to set up geo replication. So if you go down, you see that under data management, there is a replicas. So click on replicas. Then click on create replica button. Now here, uh, primary database is this one, region is TS, uh, database name is same, then uh, create a new server. So I'm going to create a new server name like um, SQLDB X1 because this is a DR site, um, so I just put read replica, so I just put replica location is TS I can put the same side I can okay that is fine mm, then authentication Azure admin click OK Um, then backup is place. Click review and create. And click create. So initializing deployment, submitting deployment to stage now. And deployment in progress here so it will take few minutes so I'm going to pause here so deployment is complete let's go to resource and if you go to repeaters We can see here that um, yeah, one is primary and another one is geo replica and if you see the replica state this primary database is online and geo replica which is running on user that are um, server that's readable mode now there's a two options like you can stop replication and forced failover so before um, going through this stop replication or force failover, uh, let's go with um, uh, auto failover group. So for that, let's go to the server, like uh, primary database running on server, SQL DBX1, so we can click that one. So server level, if you go below here, you can see that there's option for failover group. So click that failover groups. Now to create a, like here you see the failover groups are a SQL server feature designed to automatically manage replication. And failover of a set of databases. Okay, anyway, now let's click on add groups. In this add group page, failover group name, uh, give a failover group name, so I can give like um, uh, fail group 03 and select the server, I'm going to create a new server. So give a server name, um, like um, SQL um, 
dbx1 fj server admin login name azure admin password now this one thing that uh, you need to set this server into different region otherwise it will not work so because that that's that for we are setting this um, uh, failure group so now click on um, east us2 for our testing click select And you see that there is option for read write failover policy so um, uh, it's automatic so um, read write failover policy select automatic is like uh, if we would like to automatic failover when the primary goes down then you know that that the option but other option is there also that in you can see manual if you'd like to manually do that on that if something happened then you want to switch uh, this one so click on create You can see deployment is initializing it's submitting deployment so deployment succeeded if I click there still in progress because it will create in the server so it will take few minutes here So uh, you can see that uh, deployment is in progress. So let me pause here for a few minutes. See so here, deployment is complete. So click on go to resource. So now let's um, go back to um, the, the setup. So click home and uh, click the um, primary database level click on server now this is a uh, replica server go to primary one and replica this one now if we go to replica you can see primary and your replica information now if we go back to um, where is that we created now this one let me see here If we click the server, primary database server, and if we see the failover groups, now here you see the failover group, and you can see the primary server and secondary database server. You can see the read write failover policy, what the grace field or how many database count. So now if we click that one. From the configuration details, you can see the, the server and role. Um, so from here, down bottom, you can see that um, uh, the endpoint, listener endpoint. Um, so there are two listener endpoints. One is um, uh, read live. If you look here, you see that one is read write listener endpoint and another one is read only listener endpoint so read only listener can be used for application or connection which only want to read the data and other listener which is read write so read write listener uh, which can be used to direct the connections to the primary logical SQL server where read and write operation both can perform now if you check here that the option here 
that um, you see that failover option so uh, if we would like to fail over manually fail over we can just select this failover then it is just a message warning message then you will see that SQL dbx one will be primary and that fg failover group name that one that will be that will come as a primary and, and primary become secondary so if i click yes so you see that failover group from uh, in progress operation in progress here so now you see that it becomes primary and um, actual primary becomes secondary so to fail back you can click again click yes so this is very quick here you see that one if you want you can do also like forced failover or if you'd like to remove this like um, database you can do that one if you want to edit configuration uh, like um, redirect failover policy from automatic to manual you can set that up and um, then grace period you can uh, modify you see that from one hour to uh, 24 hours you can set any value here so i'm going to cancel this one and here is that uh, yeah, this is just to modify the um, settings in that case so now if you'd like to delete this um, a failover group i can just select delete and this section will remove the failover group object from the um, that um, the from that um, resource group that i created uh, leaving the database and application relationship intact the listener endpoint will be unregistered from dns so you saw you know that this is the listener endpoint that will be unregistered so do you want to continue for our testing purpose lab purpose yes i want that one so i select yes and you can see from here that failover group deletion in progress so you see that there is no group right now so you can go back you can here you see the replica one you can do the same thing if you want to like you know, drop the uh, geo replicas one so you can click on this button here and you can you know, click on stop replication And if you want, then you can just select yes. So you can submit it to stop replication, refresh the page. It may take minutes or few minutes. So I refresh the page and you see that there is no uh, replicas right now. So um, hope you have got a very good understanding how to achieve um, high availability for AGR SQL by using geo replication and also using auto failover group. Uh, that's for now. Um, uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.